All right, welcome to the Georgia Lacrosse Officials Association presentation on crease play and goalie privileges. We are using the 2023 NFHS Boys Lacrosse rules. So, goalie play is an integral part of, of lacrosse. Um, the goalies are sort of a special breed. They have a really impressive skill set. Um, they are the last line of defense, um, and their play can really make the difference between you know winning a close game or losing a close game. Um, they can they can keep a defense that's not particularly playing well in a game um, that they maybe shouldn't be in, um, and when and when they're not playing well and they're not seeing the ball, um, it it can be a bit of a disaster for a team. So this is a key skill position um, that requires a lot of athletic ability. Um, they're the sort of you know uh, quarterbacks of the defense. Um, and uh, they can initiate offense with the clearing game. So uh, they get a bunch of special privileges um, that, that only they are allowed to do on the lacrosse field while they are in the crease. Um, uh, and so uh, this is a very difficult thing to officiate. Um, this is a rule that you should really spend some time in. Um, if you're a football guy, look, this is, this is the kicking game. Right, it takes you a couple of years to figure out the kicking game if you are um, if you are a football official. Um, all right, so what's the crease? The crease is a nine foot radius, eighteen um, uh, uh, foot diameter um, circle uh, on a lacrosse field, um, two inch line, uh, and this is the, the way you need to understand this is, is it's not just the the line on the ground, it is also a cylinder that extends up into the air. Um, and when we when we are talking about making contact with the goalie in the crease or outside of the crease, we're really talking about that cylinder. So you've really got to be able to see kind of what's happening here. The offensive player may not be in the crease at any time. Uh, they may play a loose ball in the crease, but cannot make contact with the goalie or the goalie's cross while he is in the crease. They can make contact with other people's crosses, other long sticks, stuff like that, right? Um, they can make contact with the goalie's cross outside of the crease, so outside of the cylinder if the ball is loose. They can't make contact with the goalie's cross outside of the crease if he is in possession. So here we're back to possession versus loose ball, carrying, cradling, passing, shooting. Um, only the goalkeeper gets these special protections. So like I said, if there's a defender that's in the crease and he's fighting for a, uh, a, a loose ball, you can check a stick. doesn't matter that he's in the crease. Um, but only the goalkeeper may be in the crease acting as a goalkeeper. The goalkeeper may bat the ball, but may not grab, pick up, or catch the ball. And the goalkeeper in possession may not remain in the crease for longer than four seconds. Uh, player in possession may not enter the crease, including the goalkeeper, again, while they're in possession. And we'll go through each of these a little bit um, later. So properly equipped goalkeeper. Um, you cannot play a game unless you have a properly equipped goalkeeper. And that means the goalie has a throat guard, chest protector, goalkeeper cross, cup, mouthpiece, and gloves. If you don't have any one of those things, we're not playing the game, right? Uh, it doesn't matter that little Billy's on his way and he's almost here, so we're just going to, you know, shove a glove down... Steve's pants here and, you know, we're going to get him a bunch of sweats. No, th this is not what we do. Uh, goalies are allowed to wear football pants with or without pads. They can wear shin guards. They can wear arm pads. Um, but you, again, you cannot play uh, unless there's a properly equipped goalkeeper. And only the goalkeeper gets privileges. Right? Big exception. Goalkeeper can play with his free hand. They can bat the ball away. Um, they cannot, however, um, catch the ball or pick the ball up and put it in their stick, right? So a lot of this revolves around whether or not the goalie is in possession, but it also has to do with whether or not they're in the crease. The goalie is considered in the crease when any part of his body is touching the crease. And just like we talked about with an airborne player, he's in the crease until he fully establishes himself out of the crease. Right? So he's out of the crease when he's no longer making contact with the crease and makes contact with anything outside of the crease. It's essential to know uh, this bit of information. right? And the goalie outside of the crease is treated like any other field player. They do not have any special privileges um, uh, except for the five seconds to return um, to the goal if play gets restarted. Right? Um, so looking at this you know, back foot of this goalie here... Um, 
you got to be in a really good position to, to, to determine that he's not in the crease. Um, uh, I would not be that good. Uh, my, my assumption here is that this, this player is in the crease. So, um, one of the things about the crease is a defensive player in possession of the ball may not enter the crease. So here the goalie has possession of the ball, carrying, cradling, passing, shooting, um, and they're going to run in and through the crease. This is an in and out violation. You simply are going to award the ball to team A uh, laterally from the goal in the alley. So here's an example. Um, this red defender is going to pick the ball up and he's going to slam it down in the crease um, to give it to his goalie. Basically, the goalie is going to be the only one who will be able to get it. Um, however, as he does this, he steps on the, the blue line, which puts him in the crease. So this is an in and out violation. Think of our airborne player rules specifically when we talk about the goalie, right? Rule 4-5, Article 10, right? The goalie jumps up and catches the ball in midair from outside of the crease, and he lands in the crease. He's going from outside to in. That's in and out. That's a violation. If he's inside the crease and lands in the crease, this is a legal play. If he's in the crease and lands outside of the crease, that's a legal play. If he's outside of the crease and simultaneously lands both in the crease and out of the crease, he has not fully reestablished himself outside of the crease. So this is, again, a legal play. Only the keeper may be in the crease. So no defensive player other than a properly equipped goalkeeper may enter his own crease with the intent of blocking a shot or acting as a goalkeeper. The key here is blocking a shot. Right, a, a, a defensive player can run across the crease, can go into the crease to play a loose ball. Um, that's stuff that you do everywhere else on the field. Um, the big difference here is acting as a goalkeeper, attempting to stop a shot in flight. They are not properly equipped. That being said, they can attempt to stop a shot if they are outside of the crease. Right? Uh, we're going to stop play immediately if there is somebody in the crease acting as a goalkeeper, uh, a shot in flight. Uh, will be allowed to come to its normal conclusion before you stop play. All right, so here's an example, right? So you're going to see this black defender um, come flying across here, and he stops the ball with his cross. The thing we have to determine here is where is that black defender? Um, so you'll see number 19 come flying across here. Um, or I guess he's 51. Uh, is he in the crease? If he's in the crease, that first violation is a conduct foul, right? Um, so you are going to award the ball to, um, uh, uh, to White if it, the ball is loose, or you're going to put him in for 30 seconds if, if White is in possession and, and they're attempting a shot. Um, uh, in this case, the ball's loose because of the shot. Um, if we do it again, it is going to be a releasable unsportsmanlike conduct foul, right? So, um, you know, you're, you're putting him in for a minute. This is a team violation. So it doesn't matter if 51 is the guy that does this the second time. The team has already done it once, right? Positioning is key here. You got to get in close and get a good angle to see the play. So here's an example of Black acting as a goalkeeper. So we got clear here. You see our four count. Goalie's bringing it up. Interception, and look at 19. He is clearly acting as a goalkeeper, right? This ball should be awarded to, to well, we should have a flag down. Um, let's rewind this a little bit. Right here, we should have a flag down. He is clearly in the goal, acting as a goalkeeper. Right. Let's look at this version. My apologies. Here's the defender in the crease, just coming across the crease. Right. He's not acting as a goalkeeper. He can be in there. He's not attempting to block shots. Um, he's just looking to slide. This is a totally legal play. Right. So crease violations. No offensive player may be in the crease at any time. So let's watch this play first off because it is a great fake. But look how close we are to being in the crease. 
Now, can you be 40 yards away and make that call? No. You got to be crashing in and really see this play um, in order for you to make that make that call. All right, goalie interference. Um, opposing players cannot make contact with the goalie or his cross inside the crease or outside of the cylinder when the goalie in the crease is in possession of the ball. Right? Um, it's not a time-serving penalty, even if in possession. Right? So this is the big exception to technical fouls. Um, interference with possession is a free clear. Interference that's loose, um, you simply award the ball to the defense. Or if they manage to keep the ball, it's to play on and they continue playing. Right? So, again, possession. Right? Uh, possession is the key thing here. Carrying, cradling, passing, or shooting. Possession determines when the 20 and 4 second count begin. We've talked about that in our counts video. Um, but it also determines whether interference is a restart in the defensive end or a free clear. you got to know where we are and, and who's got possession of the ball or if it's loose. So I've created this handy chart for you. You can download a copy of this or take a screenshot um, and uh, use this to help you study. Um, it shows you where we are, who's got possession, and what we do. Uh, key things here. Um, if the ball is loose outside the crease and contact is within five yards of a loose ball, right? This, this is legal, right? Um, the only weird one is going to be if the clearing team has possession of the ball. Um, so let's say the goalie is clearing the ball and he's not in the crease. And the riding team enters the crease, you're going to have a flag down, slow whistle. Right? So this is the one exception. This is not really goalie interference, but this is entering the crease while uh, B is clearing the ball and in possession of the ball. Okay? Um, if it's a loose ball foul, it's a play on. Um, and if if B picks it up, they, they continue doing what they do. Otherwise, you just award it to, to team B. But this can be really helpful for you when you're studying. Okay? So loose ball inside of the crease. Um, Team A may play a loose ball um, outside of the crease and make contact with the goal, goalie's cross. Um, uh, the, the question here is who initiates contact, right? So let's watch this video here um, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So the ball's outside of the crease. Goalie picks it up. He loses it. Right? Now, this could both be a slash on the goalkeeper, okay? Um, but let's say we're not going to call this a slash. Um, the goalie's not getting bailed out of this by having this be interference because he is the one clearly initiating contact um, with what's going on here, right? So goalie's in the crease, ball's loose in, in the crease, and and... You know, goalie initiates contact. This is not goalie interference by any stretch of the imagination. Um, loose ball outside of the crease or even in the crease. If the goalie is clamping the ball, he has got his stick on it, um, he is not in possession. So if he's outside of the crease, players can check his stick as long as it's outside of the cylinder. Um, if the goalkeeper gains possession, um, you just continue playing, right? Um, uh, but clamping is not possession. If he's in possession of the ball um, and the ball's outside of the crease, um, that's going to be interference. Okay. So again, positioning is everything. You've got to be close. You've got to see what's happening. Um, there's a lot of sticks, a lot of bodies, and you got to know what's going on. Um, so interference with possession. Here is the classic example of the goalie's got the ball here. He is making an outlet pass um, and um, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna throw the ball to his teammate, right? If this is a, um, if this is a, uh, uh, a restart, right? We've got a 60 playing the goalie here. Um, but we, we, we have contact on the follow through here. That's the key thing. It doesn't matter that the ball is out of his stick and then there's contact. So you can see here, right? So the goalie has thrown the ball, balls out of his cross. It doesn't matter. We have follow through and then we make contact with the player's cross. So we'll see it again here. That's contact with the goalie's cross. 
while he is in the cylinder with possession, um, he's awarded a free clear, right? Now, if he doesn't make the pass and there's contact and he runs outside of the crease, the play on's over. He's given up his free play. Um, if his four second count expires because he's being pressured and he can't make a pass, nothing bad can happen to him because you have a play on for interference with possession that will result in a free clear. Um, if the ball gets stuck in the crease um, uh, or goalkeeper equipment while the goalie is in the crease, award to the defense. If the ball is stuck outside of the crease or stuck in somebody's equipment, um, uh, you're going to go AP. Restarts in the crease, right? Um, this is kind of what I was talking about a second ago. Defender's got to be more than five yards away, and the crease has a three-yard radius. So... You know, it, it, it's really hard to, to be five yards away if, if the goalie's in, in, right in front of the goal and you're standing just outside of the crease, right? The keep, keeper may follow through when attempting a legitimate pass, but you've got to give him those five yards. Um, so this could, be, this could be a flag down slow whistle if somebody's even putting their stick up like this to, to defend against him because you're not allowed to defend him unless you've given up that five yards. So, um, right, what are we going to do here, right? So, ball's loose. We've got interference. We're going to award it to the goalkeeper. You may want to make, you know, we don't use the loose ball signal a lot. But this is one of those situations where you want to give the loose ball signals. So you're going to point to the ground. You're going to say, ball was loose. Interference. We're going to award it to the defense here, right? You're, you're making everybody know this is not a free clear situation. Now, if the ball is in possession right? We just give the interference signal and then you give the first down signal to say basically, hey, we're giving this a free clear and they're going to start it one step over the midline. All right. So again, the clearing pass is not a license to foul. Um, uh, you know, if they make that clearing pass, it's a play on. Allow the pass to come to completion. Um, if the ball bounces on the ground and it looks like the, the clearing team is going to pick it up and continue their fast break, just let them do that. Um, but once they lose their advantage, kill the play, give them the free clear, right? Um, this can lead to a lot of really big, you know, offensive, um, uh, uh, you know, sparks here, right? So let's watch this little sequence of events here. We've got Cornell and Maryland um, in the NCAA championships first round game. All right, so we've got the ISO here. All right, dumps, shot, goalie makes a save, makes a great outlet pass, you know, and here we got, we got, we got numbers, long pole takes a shot, goalies are not necessarily used to seeing a lot of long pole shoot, um, and this is a, this is a big time goal, right, you go from an offensive possession for red to a goal by white because of that outlet pass. Now, if you're gonna make an outlet pass, it's gotta be a legal outlet pass, a legitimate attempt to pass. This is not a legitimate attempt to pass the ball. This is a multi-minute slash to the head possible ejection, All right? So what do you do when you have a penalty on the goalie? The goalie serves as penalty. You do the crime, you do the time. Um, the in-home does not serve in a, in a NFHS game, okay? Uh, you will allow one minute for the new goalie to warm up. Um, uh, they may have to swap equipment if they've only got one set of goalie equipment, but you're putting a new goalie in the, in the crease. If they need more than a minute um, to warm them up, you know, they, they can call a timeout. Um, if, uh, uh, you know, if they really got to switch equipment, you can't play the game without, without a, a legally equipped goalie, so you may want to be a little lenient there. Um, in youth leagues, you may see rules where there really is only one goalie on the team. And so uh, double check when you're doing a youth game to see whether or not the goalie actually serves the time. Um, but in a high school game, the goalie is going to serve their penalty. So throwing the cross. Um, remember, we've talked about this with technical fouls. Um, throwing a cross. Um, just sort of off the field, not necessarily at somebody, the ball or a game personnel, is just a technical foul. Um, uh, don't be too good. Um, but, you know, throwing a cross at the ball in order to prevent it from going in the net is a different story. And so here's the MCLA semifinals from 2022. 
come together. So we got sure. a broken clear. Off, come in the other direction. Wow. And the goalkeeper throws his cross. I believe that's a flag. And we'll see what the call is here. Smart play. Yeah, he gets going to get the flag down here, but that one was absolutely going in the goal. It... All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Um, again, I'm Greg, he Greg Height with GLOA. Um, and a USA Lacrosse clinician. Um, if you find any mistakes um, or uh, have suggestions, please let me know. My information's right here, and these presentations can be found on our YouTube channel and galacrof.com. Thanks so much.